Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here. And today I want to show you some new smart chips that have been added to Google Sheets and Docs. There are three new ones added to Sheets and one to Docs. So let's start off in Sheets. Now remember your smart chips are going to be a quick, easy, and neat and tidy way for you to add information to your spreadsheets or to your Google Docs in that case. In this case, we're starting off with our insert menu in the upper left. If you go down to Smart Chips, you will notice some new additions. First off, let's start with Place. This is gonna be connected to Google Maps, and if you start typing in an address, you'll see it will immediately wanna to connect to that specific place. So I'm gonna select one at random here, and now when we hover over that, it will take us right to Google Maps and the location that we've specified. Next up, we can also use our at symbol. And if you go into the at symbol, you will notice that there is another addition here for dates. So you can add a specified date, today's date, tomorrow's date, and yesterday's date, just in case you don't know what the date is. So we can just select today's date. And then another option that's been added to Google Sheets is once again, either your at menu or your insert menu. Smart Chips, you will see a finance option. If you click on that, you can start typing in your entities, as in your finance entities, whether it's gonna be stocks, mutual funds, currencies, or whatever into your sheets. I'm gonna keep it simple here. I just typed in Dow because we just know that that is a very common thing that we see in the news every day. Dow Jones Industrial Average, and now we've got that chip added there. Another cool piece about that is when you click on that chip, it will actually take you to the entity's dedicated finance page. The last addition has actually been made to Google Docs. So if we go into Google Docs, you go to your app menu or insert, you'll see that same option for smart chips. You'll notice a new addition of stopwatch. When we click on that, it will bring up a stopwatch chip and you can start, stop, and reset the timer as needed, maybe to run through what you're gonna be speaking to and work with that stopwatch as you see fit. So with that, until we meet again another day, another time, another tip, trick, hack, update, this is Gary the Google Guy, signing off.